Can't beat us. Something ahead. See, lad? He's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. What speaks to you? What did we miss? Would you focus on your damn job and quit that shit? You quit that shit. I mean it. It went and walked away. Maybe. Uncle hadn't seen straight in years. But as long as father believes him, so do I. Stop talking. Focus and help me find them. Mm, can't disappoint father. Oh, I'll smack you, father. No, not me. Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. This fight is mine, boy. Go! And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother! The little freak's got a bow! What are we gonna do? <laughs> Don't tell me! Us. What does Odin want? Come here, Hathor. You done that is there. Shut up! Don't call me that!
Shut it out. Focus. Boy's sick, he needs flair. No! Steady. I'll be all right. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him.
enough. Should do. With that, we can carve the travel rune to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. He did. He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I. And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god? <coughs> Where shall we begin? Probably shouldn't let my brother lay hands on it again, but if he does, tell him to temper his steel on working with this work. Can I just say it's a sad day for your enemies? Was there more to discuss? Oh. The travelers. Oh, disgusting. <coughs> Smelly, covered in God knows how many little beasties, but gorgeous armor. Let's see if I can't make something more sanitary. Yes? I don't think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. If so, then keep up. Yes, sir. Hey, I just realized Magni didn't come back to life. That is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant. Look, back near the giant's hand. What? What is this place? Fishermen would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest was sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. There's a path to the exit on the other side.
back under his palm. We're almost there. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant. Wrote a giant falling hammer. Fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? Bet you have come a long way. Thanks. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel room to Jotunheim, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, an open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye, but his hidden boat is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his temple. Submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. It seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. Mimir! You were in the middle of a story before. So, how did this advisor of Odin's try to end the Long War? He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. Ooh! Tyr's vault is behind that magical lock. Setting foot in Tears Vault. Another one of these. It's Tear, but the middle panel is missing. Wait, I thought Tear was a god, not a giant. Ah, but he was loved by everyone, including the giants. Other than me, he was the only one they gifted with their special sight. Hey, I wonder if the giants left a triptych about me somewhere, too. Go ahead. Actually, come look. Let me show you how to read this. That is not necessary. You've taught me so much. Let me teach you something. Atreus. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. Okay. So the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods. Some animals. Wait. Some... Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry. Not I'll... that. Do you smell something? Yeah, I do. It smells like rain. You ruined everything. I earned that fucking hammer. But now. Everyone's gonna think I only got it, cause Magni's gone! It'll be a joke! But if I kill you, I'll... no one's gonna laugh at me! No! Oh, are you dumb? That your father's doing? Or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. You don't know anything about my 
my mother. Oh, it's true. But I'm gonna get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother. Right after I finish killing your father! Oh! Whoops! I think I broke him! <laughs> no! Stay back! Brother, the boy. Atreus. You have to get him to Freya quickly. There's no other way. Take the boat. Freya's isn't far. Odin's eye is on you, brother, especially now that you've taken to killing his kin. Freya's forest is a blind spot for him. This is our smartest move. If anyone can heal him, it's her. What is happening to him? I've seen it in mortals that some conflict of the mind expresses itself as an ailment of the body. Never in a god, but a god believing himself mortal. I can only imagine. We're almost there. called the serpent. Shaking. It's serious. We must hurry. Freya! Open the door! We need your help! Woman, do you hear me? It is urgent! I'm still a god! Go away! The boy has fallen ill! Freya! Ill. 
inside. This is no ordinary illness. The boy's true nature, your true nature, fights within him. I did this to him. Will you help me? Of course. There is a rare ingredient found only in Helheim. The keeper that protects the Bridge of the Damned. I need its heart. Mm -hmm. Hell. The Realm of the Dead. Do you know it? Not this one. It is a land of unyielding gold. Fires cannot burn there, and no magic in all the Nine Realms can create a blaze. As for the dead, your Frost Axe will be useless. You'll need to find something else. Then I must return home. Dig up a past I swore would stay buried. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. And he needs his father. This rune opens the bridge to Helheim. When you are there, do not under any circumstances cross the Bridge of the Damned. There is no road back. Understand? Mm. Oh. Boy. Hey, Malay. You must hurry. Through my garden, there's a path leading to my boat. Take it. Return home. Dig up your past. Do whatever you need to do. Just bring me back the Bridgekeeper's heart. Last we spoke, I was... No. You were right to distrust the word of a god. No need to explain. Not to me, not for that. I will keep him safe. That's a mother's promise. Helheim of all places. You all right, brother? I will do what I must. Leave me be.
There's nowhere you can hide, Spartan. Put as much distance between you and the truth as you want. It changes nothing. Pretend to be everything you are not. Teacher. Husband. Father. But there is one unavoidable truth you will never escape. <laughs> you cannot change. You will always be a monster. I know. But I am your monster no longer. a door to the realm between realms over there, in your own front yard, no less. Take the shortcut back to the realm travel temple, then on to Helheim, yeah? Pretty sure you weren't talking to me back there. Anything you'd like to get off your chest, brother? I can assure you I'm unsurpassed in keeping confidences. Well, you know where to find me. And for the record, I'd already guessed you were Greek. Athena, dead giveaway. Foreign magic. Sweet Nana's nethers. What are those? I've never seen the like. That's got to be a family heirloom. No. Nor will it ever be. Son, my brother and me created me own heir for the big idiot. I know from quality. And them, them special. Hey, where's the little turd? He has fallen ill. No. What happened? Aesir? No. The fault is mine. And my responsibility to make it right. Well... We all gotta take responsibility sometime. Huh? Say, what can I do to help him? I can do things. And when I should tag along? No. Your work here is enough. All right. So where are you off to in such a hurry? The realm of the dead. Helheim? Shit, this is serious. I'll be keeping my eye on Don't worry, kids are tough. When I was his age, I cut my own head clean off. 
And I'm none the worse for wear. Now that Freya's given you the travel room to Helheim, it should be unlocked on the table. Back. Let me take this moment to tell you that what you are about to do is absolutely insane. Not even Odin can survive this cold. So, I hope those blades work. Is this the bridge Freya spoke of? No, we're still on the Realm Travel Bridge. We're after the Bridge of the Damned. The dead use it to cross into their permanent home, the city of Helheim. The bridge keeper reminds of mission. He's the one we want. Just follow this bridge. Should lead us straight to him. You know, I really hope never to see this place again. Use the fire of your blades to burn away that hell's bramble blocking the path. Many reasons we went back for those blades. should be here. There's too many. The gate must be closed, and if the gate's closed, then it's true. Hell's full up. Without the Valkyrie to sort and cull them, hell is overwhelmed. Locked. Now what?
Why don't we kill the Reavers near my home? They came here. How did they return so quickly? Time doesn't move the same between all realms, especially where the spirit world is concerned. Like the Light of Alfheim? The opposite, in fact. The Lake of Souls feels faster than Alfheim time, but Hell is much slower than Midgard. Sorry, I'm sure that's confusing. If we will be back to my son all the sooner, that is good. Ah, aren't you a quick study? part of Asgard. Only the worthy dead go there, the warriors who die in glorious combat. Hell is for those who die in dishonor. Criminals. Aye, and those dead of disease, mishap, age. It is dishonorable to grow old. Well, never too late to go out fighting, I suppose. I don't expect it will, though I don't suppose it will make things any worse either. It'll be one less obstacle for the living to reach the inner sanctum of Helheim. But who'd be mad enough to go there? The Bridge of the Damned. And there's the Keeper, making sure the dead are really dead. What is that he holds? That totem contains a powerful source of magical energy, the very power of Helheim itself. But what you want is his heart. Just take it and we can leave. How? Start some trouble. You can do that, right?
know the heart, brother. You'll have to get your hands dirty. Nothing more. You're set. Try not to linger here, though, eh? Kratos. Zeus. Zeus? My father. Your father was Zeus? Well, that explains a lot. What is that place? Never go there. Understand? How is he here? That is not possible. It's just an illusion. Hell's known for torturing its inhabitants with their own past. We should focus on getting back to your son. Psst. Yeah. Shh. He ain't supposed to be here. It's cold. Real quick, give me your blades. Why? Yeah, I said I'd help you and I aim to. Come on. Oh, my equipment's in Midgard. Be right back. Yeah. You, you don't suppose he'd nick those, do you? There. Now they're ready for the winds of hell. Just target this magical glow you get here with your blades and throw. <laughs> now target that wind trap with your blades. <laughs> the winds of hell whenever it damp pleases. So you're welcome and I'm leaving. This place is cold enough to freeze a pair of pigeon eggs. I sometimes wonder if there was once some sort of accident in his brain. We have been away too long.
Sorry, brother. I'm still stuck in what I heard back there. Zeus was your father? Not now. We should focus on getting out of hell. And with that, I cannot argue. I'll just contemplate that little nugget in silence, then. Get home to your boy already. Say hi to the pimple flap for me when he's better. Shouldn't delay, brother. It's straight back to Midgard with that heart. Your father, Zeus? I finally understand! 
I'm dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta. Do not call me that. Oh, don't mistake me, brother. From what I heard, the Pantheon had it coming. It's still a bit to take in. I knew you hate gods, but you really can't stay away from them, can you? You must say nothing to the boy. He must never know. Bollocks, brother. Respectfully, bollocks. He has to know. He'll never be whole without the truth. Look, I get it. You hate the gods. All gods. It's no accident that includes yourself. And it includes your boy. You see that? He feels that. He can't help what he is. He can't begin to help it because you haven't even told him. It's all connected, man. You will tell him nothing. Very well. So you know that shortcut between realms? Well, I made it better. Or I might have broke some. We use that. I know what you do. So I took a few gusts from them winds of hell and made it so it ain't just one way. Now you can use it to travel to and from. If I didn't break it. Then we can take it to Freya. There's an idea, brother. Might be some kinks to sort out, but you'll make it. Just go, brother. Well, you gentlemen certainly know how to get around. Well, this isn't right. Ah, but close enough. He did say there were kinks. We must hurry. The heart. You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. He is still ill. I can break the fever, but to heal... He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been... forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. The babe in my arms was so... small. So helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him. No matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple, but nothing is when it involves your child. It is a curse. The boy has been cursed. Don't 
I'll leave without me. I will not. I'm better now. I see that. Is he well enough to travel? For now. It won't happen again. I promise. You see that it does not. Thanks. Your father did the heavy lifting. You should stay, recover. You have done enough. You know my door is always open to you. That's Venon, isn't it? You figured that out, did you? Well, the window looks like Bifrost Crystal. And I know that's not what's on the other side of the wall. And, well... It makes you sad. You are wise for one so young. Yes, this is a window to a home I left long ago. But it is only a few. The thing that happened to you in Alphon. You can't leave Midgard, can you? A gift from my former husband upon our separation. Why would Odin trap you in Midgard? Petty cruelty would be reason enough for him. But as with all his rash decisions, he's driven by fear. The Vanir were the greatest threat to the Aesir until our marriage brokered peace. Many of the Vanir now think I betrayed them. The fruits of my sacrifice. To be hated by my own kind. To trap me here is to ensure I can never make it right. Um, so I was wondering... Why do you live under a turtle? <laughs> he was my first friend here in Midgard. He offered me shelter, and in return I provide him with protection against the evils of the forest. Holden boar, giant turtle? He sure has some interesting friends. Now then, before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. Okay then. Ah, see? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? 
You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth. I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is... I was born a god. And so were you. Boy. Have you nothing to say? Um... Can I... Turn into an animal? Can you... Turn... Into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? Spare you. Being a god, it can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Turn invisible? I don't feel like a god. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, we will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like Father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Brock and Sindri? They do not need to know. Boulder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Cares Vault, do we? I mean, we're God. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing right now? I will show you. Let's try this again, without interruptions. Here we go again. Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Go. Yeah. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. 
The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. The god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon it's been known to happen, yes. This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for Aesir. Same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim Tower. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Where is this flat? Oh, no, I've never been in here. The stone! That has to be it! Didn't think it would be that easy. No. Just kind of hoping, though. So what now? We can't leave here without the black room. Come on. We can do this. Rather, a trap for the winds of hell. But where do you think the winds are? The winds of what? Oh, we forgot to mention that. When you were sick, you went to hell. You did? Terrible experience, by the by. Your dad picked up a new trick, though, with a little help from the rock. That's unfriendly. Look, small passages on either side. Perfect for the boys. Go. I will be fine. <laughs> Careful, brother. Leah's not here to be back if you're cutting too. Quiet. Look 
forget why we are here. Okay. That's from a great desert land, very far from here. Do gods live there? Oh my, yes. Many, many gods. Good or bad? And not as simple as that, I'm afraid.
shot. It is not important. Seemed important to you. It was a rash impulse. You need not dwell on my failings. Wow. That was almost in the boat. I guess you do have to smash pottery. hurts me or not. I want to learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I have to. More small packages. I know. Let's go. I can't wait, brother. Good luck. And I thought those saws were scary. Giants, Skull and Hati. That's right. The bringers of day and night. Ragnarok begins when they catch the sun and moon. Right? Did Tyrna them? I don't know. Like them well enough to cover a massive wall in his vault with them, though. Don't you enjoy it at all? Being a god? On an adventure in some amazing place? Maybe Mother wanted us to have a little fun. Everything we've seen and done. Maybe it was her gift. I don't see another trap for the... Uh... Winds of Hell? Maybe we can get up to one of those balconies for a better look.
What of these? Thought is faster than wind. Hmm. Perhaps this isn't a... Look! There's the wind trap! Ah! Clever! You know, for someone so loved, Tyr sure was paranoid. Ah, thanks to Odin, with good reason. saved you. That was cunning, boy. The road's free! I think we did it! Aye. Right. Let's go see what Tears got for us. No! Why is protection me? It rubbed off! What should we do? There it is! We've got it! And you must. 
lost me better than me. Understand? Say it. Or you will be better. The power of this weapon, any weapon, comes from here. But only when tempered by this. By the discipline. The self-control of the one who wields it. That is where the true strength of a warrior lies. You must never forget that. Good then. Come. Are you certain? Yes! Are you certain? 